because this situation, ain't, it ain't cool. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be one of my get ready with me, let's try new makeup together videos. I love making these because I love trying new makeup and I love trying it on camera for the first time with you guys. I have a bunch of products in front of me, a lot of things I've never tried yet and I'm really, really excited, especially for a little foundation here that I'm very curious about. So if you wanna see all of that happen, then keep on watching. First things first is skin prep and speaking of skin, my skin's looking a little rough right now, so we're not going to mind that. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but that's the case. I'm going to be trying the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Definitely need that confidence if it comes in cream form, sure. Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. It smells really good, like a spa, like very fresh. Ooh, that is a thick, that is a very thick cream. Okay, I don't know how much I need, but I guess that's a pretty generous amount. And I'm just going to rub this into my skin. BRB as I turn into a tomato. <laughs> this moisturizer is quite thick. It doesn't absorb like super quickly into the skin. I definitely feel really plump and soft, but it's not greasy at all. I feel like foundation would go on really nicely on top of this. And speaking of foundation, I'm also using something from It Cosmetics. This is a new foundation by them. And I got a little package from them with a bunch of different shades. This is the new Confidence in a Compact. So apparently it's this moisturizer mixed in with like a serum foundation. So it's like a two-in-one. It has skin transforming full coverage solid super serum. That's pretty cool, SPF 50 plus. I have the shade Light and Fair. I have not even swatched any of these before. They look like one of those little cushion foundations with a little sponge on here. I'm gonna open the Fair and Light and see what shade I'm gonna be. But before I do, they also have a little brush they sent me. This is the Heavenly Skin Brush. I'm assuming this goes really well with the foundation, so I'm gonna use this with it today. They don't have like that BB cushioning like layer. It's actually just a solid foundation in there. This is Fair and this is Light. Light looks quite dark, if I'm completely honest. I don't know if that's gonna match my skin. I feel like, I think Fair would be the better choice to go with. So I'm gonna try fair. I'm gonna take my brush. I guess I'm going to swirl it in here and see what happens. Apparently this is gonna give me full coverage, which I'm excited about. Do I need a lot? Oh, I got some on my brush. This is very interesting. Let's do this. Oh, very creamy. It smells really good. Kind of smells like the moisturizer. <laughs> I feel like I really need to go in there with my brush to really just pick up product. Okay, that's better. The color looks good. I feel like light would have been way too dark. So fair is my shade. I did half of my face, about like a layer and a half, and it looks beautiful. It looks just like skin, very healthy. It's not caking, it's not like sticking to any dry spots or anything like that. It looks beautiful. I might look super pale on camera, but in real life it actually looks really nice on me, the color. I'm really happy about that. Coverage wise, this foundation did really, really nicely. I would say it's not like super full coverage. I wanna say like it's a good solid medium. I can definitely go over it one more time or you can just put concealer where you need it to be, which is what I'm gonna do because I wanna kinda keep this lighter than usual. I don't wanna cake it up. So I'm gonna do the other side now and I will be right back. So that's the foundation done without setting it or anything. It has a very luminous, glowy look to it. I look very healthy and fresh, although I need some color in my skin. So I'm taking my Frankie Rose concealer because I don't have a new concealer to try. And I'm just going to kind of do any blemishes underneath my eyes, my nose, you know, anywhere I need a little extra coverage. I really need some color in my face, but concealer is done and I thought I would really quickly mention the brush in case anybody was wondering if it's an amazing godsend brush. It's really nice, it's soft, it's a great brush, but I feel like for this particular foundation, I can't really swirl it around because I feel like it's a little bit too dense of a brush and it's just going to be moving it around. I like tapping it, which gives me really nice coverage and soft enough, it's not leaving like brush marks. I feel like I would want something a little bit more 
not flimsy, but with a little bit more movement, not super dense. Other than that, this brush is really nice. It has a nice angle to it, so you can get into the little crevices of your face. I would be setting my whole face with my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And since we're trying a new foundation, I don't want to put any colored pressed foundation powders on top. I'm just going to do like a translucent thing right now. I set my face with my translucent powder, but I feel like it's still a little tacky and it's bothering me because I feel like once I put my bronzer, it's going to be hella patchy or it's going to move product around. So I'm thinking of going in with a little bit more powder and like really pressing it in. So I'll be right back. I feel a lot better. It's not as tacky. It still looks really nice on the skin. It still gives me that like skin-like luminous look, but it's set, which is crazy. And I really, really like that. It looks very natural. I feel like if you're oily skinned, you can try it. I don't know. I think this is more normal dry skin because it gives your skin a lot of hydration and it is a very like thicker creamier foundation try it but i'm just saying i have a bunch of pixie beauty products i haven't even opened yet so i'm really excited to get into these there are these two strobe and sculpt and strobe and bronze palettes this is with a collaboration with Miriam maquillage and she's a beauty blogger so i'm gonna open this up really quick this is how i open things these are the two palettes. The top one is the Strobe and Bronze, and the bottom one is the Strobe and Sculpt. I think I'm going to go into the Strobe and Bronze because it has a really pretty lighter matte bronzers for my skin tone. She also has a brush I'm going to use. This is the Strobe and Sculpt brush. It's double-ended, which is really, really cool. Kind of just like a really fluffy brush, and the bottom is like a tip. So I'm assuming this is really good for putting anything underneath the eyes or highlighting. This one is really good for highlighting too. I don't know about this for bronzer. I generally don't use brushes like this, but I'm gonna try it. So I'm taking this shade right here, which looks like the lighter color. I'm gonna take some, I don't know how, how much I'm taking was The tip is brown. We're just gonna go for it. Okay, that's actually a really nice color. Get out of here, hair. Oh, that was a little bit too much. <laughs> But it does blend out really nicely. The brush is super, super soft. And I really like the powder color. I went a little bit a little bit too heavy. If you ever feel like you went overboard with your bronzer, just take the brush you used for your powder. And you can just diffuse the edges a little bit. And it makes it all much better. There we go. Lovely. This palette also has really beautiful highlights in it. Ooh, look how gorgeous that is. That is actually quite pigmented, but for highlighter, I'm gonna be using something else, even though these are beautiful. Pixie also collaborated with Aspen Novard, if I'm saying that correctly. She is a lifestyle blogger, so she came out with a bunch of highlighters along with this one as well, which I think I'm gonna try this as a blush even though it's like a shimmery thing because I don't have a new blush to try. So I'm gonna do this color, which is Rome Rose Glowy Powder. And then we have two highlighters, one in London Luster and Santorini Sunset. I think I'm gonna go with London Luster. For Rome Rose, I'm gonna go in really light-handed. I'm taking the same brush I used for my bronzer, but I like wiped it clean. I know this is more of like a glowy highlighter thing, and I don't necessarily love like frosty blushes. So we shall see what happens. I feel like, oh my goodness. Do you, I was thinking this was going to be a pigmented pinkier shade, but it actually blends beautifully into the skin and it leaves a rose gold highlight. I'm shook. I'm shook right now. I never say that word, but I'm shook right now. This is go- <sighs> More. <laughs> Do you see this like rosiness on my cheeks and then that like beautiful highlight? Okay, so I'm so excited about this. This is like my new favorite thing ever. But I think I'm going to still go into London Luster and highlight other parts of my face as well because I want to see how this does now and I'm so excited. This shade is more of a pearly, really light gold champagne color and I'm going to take that with the pointy side of this brush. I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. Ooh, that is brightening. And on the... Ooh, <laughs> okay. This is like frosting a cake right now with icing. This is a very bright. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. These are so pigmented. I was not I was not expecting this much pigment 
and I'm blown away. I actually can take the tiniest amount because I'm just, I want to be really extra right now. And I'm going to go right here and add a little more. Oh my god. We're in heaven right now. I am just, I'm so happy right now. I can't wait to try this highlighter on. It kind of has like that peachy goldness to it that I love. Anyways, we're gonna move on. I feel like we've been on that subject for a very long time. I'm moving on to eyebrows. I don't have anything particularly new new to try. New new. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take my Tam Nova Brow Styling Duo in the shade Mink, and I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows as I normally do with a little angled brush, and I'll be right back. The brows are done, and I just realized I have this product as well by Pixie and Aspen, and it has a lower lash mascara and a brow tamer. I'm gonna go ahead and use that brow tamer to tame my brow hairs, because you know, they be all over the place sometimes. Now we're moving on to the eyes, and I'm using yet another Pixie product. It should be called Trying New Pixie Goodies. This is a collaboration with its Judy Time, and I love Judy. I love watching her vlogs with her family. So it's been ages that I've been watching her. This is the eyeshadow palette, and she also has a lip palette. But I have a lot of other lip products to try, so we're gonna do the eyeshadow today. This is, ooh, it opens like this. That's so cute. And these are the colors inside. I really like that. That's like my type of color scheme right here. I love this. Let's do this. I'm taking a really small amount of this shade right here and I'm going to place this underneath my brow bone for a little bit of highlight. For my first transition color, I'm taking this shade right here. It's like a matte, warm, soft brown. I'm going down to the color below it and I'm going to apply this to my crease as well. I'm also going to take that same color right below my bottom lash line and smoke it out. I'm going to take this matte dark chocolate brown and I'm going to place this in my crease to kind of darken up the look a little bit more. I'm not quite sure what color I want to put on my lid. I'm kind of torn between this copper, this brown, and this gold shade. Oh, do, holy crap. Do you see that pigment? I think I want to go with this gold shade because these might be a little bit too dark to put on my lids because I want a really bright effect. So I'm going to take the gold shade and pop that on my lids. <laughs> go in and just blend out the edges to make everything look seamless that's a gorgeous color and lastly for the eyeshadows I'm gonna go back to that dark brown that we used and on an angled brush I'm gonna create a little wing I almost forgot I'm gonna take that same color we used on our brow bones and I'm going to pop it in the inner corners of my eye. And lastly for the eyes, some mascara. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. for my lips to finish off the look I'm gonna be using one of the new retro matte liquid lipsticks by Mac they sent me a bunch of their new colors and I've actually never tried these on my lips before so I'm pretty excited to I did swatch them on my arm and they are incredibly pigmented and opaque they look like they're gonna be a great liquid lipstick so now I just need to choose the color great I think I'm gonna go with this color right here. It's called Topped with Brandy. It's a very just color. I feel like it would go with the eyes really nicely. So I'm very excited to use these. Ooh, and it has a kind of pointed applicator. I really like these. I think the Smashbox ones have pointed ones as well. So it helps you get really precise lines on your lips. And it smells so good. Oh my goodness, I would eat this. It smells like cake mix. Yum. This is top 
Chocolate Brandy on the lips and it's a lot darker than what I was expecting, but it's a gorgeous shade. I haven't worn a dark lip like this in a really long time, so it's very refreshing and different. Love the formula so far. It feels so light and comfortable on my lips. It applied beautifully, very pigmented. It's not patchy at all. Application was easy peasy. It's not cracking or anything like that amazing so far. I'm really happy with it. So rewinding it all the way to the beginning, my foundation still looks really pretty, really flawless. The finish is still really nice. It hasn't separated, gotten cakey or greasy looking, which is amazing. I can definitely see myself wearing this a lot. I'm going to be testing it a lot more, wearing it for longer periods of time, so on and so forth. Um, the bronzer, the blush, this highlight though, I'm so happy with everything I've tried. The eyeshadows are beautiful, very pigmented the liquid lipstick bomb i'm so excited to try all of these colors i really really love the formula i'm just happy with everything i've tried you guys i don't think i have a single complaint i hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching and as usual don't forget to follow me on instagram makeup by jesse don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys